to what you can with what you have where you are. It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again, because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring. Greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. It is hard to fail, but it is worse never to have tried to succeed. Believe you can in your halfway there. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care when you're at the end of your rope, tie a knot and hold on. Nothing in the world is worth having or worth doing unless it means effort, pain, difficulty. I have never in my life envied a human being who led an easy life. I have envied a great many people who led difficult lives and led them well. The only man who never makes mistakes is the man who never does anything. To announce that there must be no criticism of the president, or that we are to stand by the president, right or wrong, is not only unpatriotic and servile, but is morally treasonable to the American public. To educate a person in the mind but not in morals is to educate a menace to society. Patriotism means to stand by the country. It does not mean to stand by the president or any other public official, save exactly to the degree in which he himself stands by the country. It is patriotic to support him in so far as he efficiently serves the country. It is unpatriotic not to oppose him to the exact extent that by inefficiency or otherwise he fails in his duty to stand by the country. In either event, it is unpatriotic not to tell the truth whether about the president or anyone else. Knowing what's right doesn't mean much unless you do what's right. Keep your eyes on the stars and your feet on the ground. If you could kick the person in the pants responsible for most of your trouble, you wouldn't sit for a month. Here is your country. Cherish these natural wonders, cherish the natural resources, Cherish the history and romance as a sacred heritage for your children and your children's children. Do not let selfish men or greedy interests skin your country of its beauty, its riches, or its romance. In any moment of decision, the best thing you can do is the right thing. The worst thing you can do is nothing. Courage is not having the strength to go on. It is going on when you don't have the strength. Far better it is to dare mighty things, to win glorious triumphs, even though checkered by failure, than to take rank with those poor spirits who neither enjoy much nor suffer much, because they live in the gray twilight that knows neither victory nor defeat. Speak softly and carry a big stick, you will go far. I am a part of everything that I have read. I am an American, free-born and free-bred, or I acknowledge no man as my superior, except for his own worth, or as my inferior, except for his own demerit. No one cares how much you know, until they know how much you care. The things that will destroy America are prosperity at any price, peace at any price, safety first instead of duty first, and love of soft living and the get-rich-quick theory of life. Every immigrant who comes here should be required within five years to learn English or leave the country. Whenever you are asked if you can do a job, tell him, certainly I can. Then get busy and find out how to do it. A vote is like a rifle. Its usefulness depends upon the character of the user. Never throughout history has a man who lived a life of ease left a name worth remembering. A man who has never gone to school may steal a freight car, but if he has a university education, 
he may steal the whole railroad. In the first place, we should insist that if the immigrant who comes here in good faith becomes an American and assimilates himself to us, he shall be treated on an exact equality with everyone else, for it is an outrage to discriminate against any such man because of creed, or birthplace, or origin. But this is predicated upon the person's becoming in every facet an American, and nothing but an American, there can be no divided allegiance here. Any man who says he is an American, but something else also, isn't an American at all. We have room for but one flag, the American flag. We have room for but one language here, and that is the English language, and we have room for but one sole loyalty, and that is a loyalty to the American people. When you play, play hard. When you work, don't play at all.